A high-intensity activated crosswalk beacon, or Hawk beacon, looks much like the warning lights at railroad crossings and fire stations. Hawk beacons are still rare in the USA. Portland, Oregon has a Hawk beacon where a bicycle route crosses busy East Burnside Avenue. The Hawk beacon is dark until a bicyclist or pedestrian pushes a button to cross. Then it flashes yellow, turns steady yellow, and, after a few seconds, turns red to stop traffic in the cross street. This video is about the unusual application of the Hawk Beacon at a street, not only a crosswalk, and for bicyclists, not only pedestrians. I'm John Allen, here riding on East 41st Avenue and crossing Burnside at the Hawk Beacon. Cat Iverson is riding behind me with her helmet camera. We stop on the far side of Burnside to have a look. A bicyclist is waiting. She pushes the button. Take your picture? Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it. No oh, got the green. The traffic signal facing 41st is for bicyclists but not motorists, as shown by the bicycle symbol on the light face and the sign underneath. The Hawk Beacon is red as bicyclists cross. Now let's examine a full signal cycle. Burnside is busy and carries bus traffic. The SUV in the foreground on 41st turns right onto Burnside after a bus has passed. Bicyclists are waiting on 41st on the other side of Burnside. The bicycle signal is dark. There is also a pedestrian signal head showing don't walk. The Hawk Beacon is dark. After 45 seconds, the bicyclists are still waiting, probably thinking we pushed the button. So Cat Iverson does. We go to live narration. Now it's... Uh, now it's going to go. Oh, now the bike signal turned red. Yes. And the... Uh, now it's green. When there. it turned red, the traffic signal turned to flashing yellow. And, and, and yes, there was a walk signal. Now the bike's yellow. And back to red. Flashing red. Yes. And, the, and Burnside has flashing red. And the bike signal is still red. Like out the tire. And 30 seconds after the bike signal goes to steady red, it goes out, if no one has pushed a button again. The pedestrian signal still shows don't walk. Okay, I'll admit, you're probably as confused as Kat and I were, so let's rewind and have another look. This time I'm going to show you a picture-in-picture -picture with all of the signal types and timings. On the right, the pedestrian signal, in the middle, the bicycle signal, and on the left, the hawk beacon. I'll also show and tell you the time for each change. Excuse me if I have to talk fast. When the picture starts moving, it's in real time again. The waiting bicyclists have not pushed a button to cross. Cat pushes the button. Immediately, hawk flashing yellow, bike signal red. Three seconds, hawk beacon steady yellow. Seven, hawk beacon red. Nine. Bike signal goes to green, ped signal goes to walk. The bicyclists cross. 17, the ped signal goes to a flashing hand. 21, the bike signal goes to yellow. The hawk beacon is red. 27, the bike signal turns red. 31, hawk beacon and bike signal flash, steady don't walk signal. 35. Traffic is already moving on Burnside when the Hawk Beacon goes out and the bicycle signal goes to steady red. If no one pushes a button, the bicycle signal goes out 30 seconds later, or else the Hawk Beacon flashes yellow at that same time to restart the cycle. Okay, so how well does this installation work? It is unusual in several ways. It is at a crossroads rather than only a crosswalk. It is intended for bicyclists as well as pedestrians. It has a traffic signal for bicyclists that goes dark, a push button for the bicyclists, and a stop sign for motorists. It is effective at stopping traffic on Burnside. 
After all, there are nine seconds from the time when the hawk beacon starts flashing yellow until the bicyclists get the green light. An ordinary traffic signal would typically allow three to five seconds. But then here's a classic multiple threat situation where a motorist makes a right turn from behind a taller vehicle on a red hawk beacon. This motorist stops after the hawk beacon has gone out. On the other hand, motorists are probably more likely to take the flashing red before the hawk beacon goes out as a cue to start up. When the hawk beacon is dark, motorists freely turn left from Burnside onto 41st. Motorists also turn right both from Burnside and from 41st, and not only when the hawk beacon is dark. It's easiest for motorists to enter or cross Burnside when the hawk beacon is red. A Google Street View sequence unintentionally shows this. A bicyclist is taking his time reading a map. Traffic is crossing on Burnside. Both the bicyclist and the Google camera car start up when the bicyclist requests a green and the hawk beacon stops the traffic on Burnside. The camera car turns left. It would have right hooked the bicyclist if it had turned right. The more often bicyclists push the button, the more often motorists can cross. This motorist apparently tried to wave bicyclists by on the red, but then backed up unaccountably and shot across on the bicyclist's green. The motorist here waited for a bicyclist crossing on the Burnside sidewalk and then came across before the green light. A City of Portland press release describes the installation. It will have a ped bike indication for crossing Burnside. Motorists will still have to abide by the stop signs. This eliminates the threat of motor vehicle cut-through traffic. Say what? The signal timing for this intersection on record for 2005 and observed in 2008 differ. Most significantly, the red bicycle signal now goes dark 30 seconds after the hawk beacon, not preventing but instead only postponing confusion. And bicyclists can get confused or impatient here. What was that beep after the signal turned green? A bicyclist pushed the button unnecessarily. She then looped around to the wrong side of 41st. She's fortunate that no one made a right turn on Red Hawk at the same time. Check out the two bicyclists behind me. Cat's camera turned away from them for a few moments, but then it caught the two of them turning right on the red light onto Burnside. A few seconds later, we were surprised to see that one of them had made a U-turn through moving traffic on Burnside and continued on down 41st. Having looked at some problems with this intersection, now let's consider some possible improvements. Bicycle permeable barriers across 41st would eliminate all cut-through traffic except possibly motorcycles. Here's an example from Berkeley, California. Motorists would have to detour by one or two blocks at most. Or making 41st one way away from Burnside with a contraflow bike lane behind a median barrier would eliminate crossing and turning conflicts on the green light. Here's a contraflow lane in Eugene, Oregon, not used exactly the same way, but you get the idea. Like a stop sign, a flashing red signal means stop, check for traffic, and go when it's safe. That's the wrong message to send bicyclists when traffic on Burnside is starting up. I suggest that instead of flashing, then showing steady red and then going dark, the bicycle signal shows steady red until a few seconds after the hawk beacon goes out, then flash until the hawk beacon goes on again. And so now, Cat Iverson and I have shown you what we found at the intersection of East Burnside and 41st in Portland, Oregon. We welcome links to this video and we welcome your comments. Please take note of the acknowledgments and copyright notices which follow. Thank you.